Today, let's talk about why you should learn programming. Yes, it's an unpopular view and maybe a little bit outdated, but I say it still holds true. If you're a technical person, such as an analyst, you should learn some kind of form of programming or scripting. Over the last number of years, e-discovery has been more and more standardized, but need for small applications and scripts is still there. There are times when the problem can only be solved with a script or a small application. Now, I'm not talking about becoming a full programmer by any means, but I'm talking about learning basics of programming language so that you can write a simple app. Practically speaking, how much programming am I talking about? Well, just enough to be able to copy and paste code from the internet and integrate into your own applications. And yes, I am serious. You wouldn't believe how many applications are just copy and paste pieces of code. So if you take your problem and break it up into a bunch of small problems that you need solving, chances are somebody had already wrote something like that at some point in time, and it's somewhere on the internet. Your goal is to Google for it, find that little piece of code that's going to solve your small little problem, and then paste it into your application. Now, I just finished writing an app called Password Finder. It's an app that finds password of a native file from a password bank. And it was only like 15 lines of code, and you wouldn't believe the difference it made for our project managers. They were unbelievably happy to have that kind of tool and all it took was 15 lines of code. See, when you know a little bit of programming, any problem that was impossible before suddenly becomes, huh, maybe. And once you have maybe, you start looking at it and you're like, well, I'm 50% done already. And that 50% gives you confidence to pursue it further, to get it to 75 and 200%. All right, hopefully I convinced you enough to give programming a try. So let's talk about what programming language you should start with. Well, I would say it's C-sharp. That is not the coolest language out there, but it is the most practical. And if you have to add one more scripting language to it, I would say it would be an SQL, because SQL is a universal database querying language. It's not what it stands for, but that's what it is. And as far as which IDE to use, download Visual Studio Community Edition. It is absolutely the best editor out there. Yeah, there's some people will argue with me, but just get that. So finally, don't think of a programming as becoming a full-time programmer. Think of programming as just another tool in your toolbox. You spend so much time learning textpad, law, relativity, maybe you even became an RCA. What's a little more programming on top of all that? Okay, I had to come back and get the camera.